we have to become very good individuals ourselves okay yeah. because which is the house of astrology ultimately which house people eighth say house. it is the eighth house okay mm -hmm. but what people don't understand is eighth house is the house where you look for divinity but you don't find it there that's not the house where you find divinity. The That's ninth house. The, the gain of the eighth house. Right. So it's like saying when you are sitting in the eighth house, then you are looking. And then the guru comes and pulls you. Hey, come here. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. So uh, ninth house is like this. You know what second house is. Second house is family, right? Yeah. So the ninth house is the family member of the eighth house. What is the second house? Second house, when you are born, you have the ascendant. Then what yes. happens? You have family, you have mother, father, uncle, aunt, yes. All yes. the Vedas, all the Puranas, all the Upanishads, the Srimad Bhagavata, all the Itihasas, the Srutis, the Smritis, the Sutras and Yantras and Tantras and Mutras. <laughs> yeah. thing is the ninth house. They are like the family of the eighth house. Without the ninth house, the eighth house collapses completely. Imagine a child doesn't have a family. He's born and then somebody goes and throws him out. Yeah. What, what will that baby do? You know, he'll be finished, right? So, we have to understand that this is the ninth house. Okay, that's the house of divinity. So, divinity, what, what is divinity? Divinity means if you see Jupiter, Jupiter is the Karak for the ninth house. Okay, and sun is also the Karak. But Jupiter is primarily the Karak. Okay, yeah. so Jupiter has the key to all the houses which give us happiness which are the houses of happiness in astrology it's not i'm not talking of the fourth house here okay that is the house of peace no doubt but the second house fifth house ninth house and eleventh house these four houses are the houses of happiness and peace yeah. now who is the karak for the second house jupiter fifth jupiter. house jupiter ninth house jupiter eleventh house also jupiter my God, and Jupiter essentially represents the noble qualities, mm -hmm. the divine virtuous qualities. Okay, yeah. so and and if you try to analyze what 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 Jupiter is, you try to analyze what Jupiter is. Second house is what your family, right? And fifth house is what actually fifth house is children, but fifth house is your subordinates. Yes, mm -hmm. subordinates. Anybody who is uh, subordinate to you. Then ninth house is who your superiors. Yeah. And who yeah, is the eleventh house? Eleventh house is your equals, your friends. Right. Okay. So that means if a person does not have a family, subordinates, seniors, and seniors. equals, these four things, he or she will not be happy completely. Take it in writing. Yeah. Okay, and yes, for ladies, seventh house also. I mean, Jupiter is also the Karak for the seventh house, but let's keep it aside for now. So, the point here is that we have to become better individuals because Jupiter, uh, why do they say that Jupiter in the ascendant or with the moon is a great blessing? Why do they say like this? Because it means that divinity is very natural for the person. Okay, now that does not mean anybody who has this will be a great soul or something like that, but that is one of the indications. Okay, so when we want to, because Jyotish is the domain of Jupiter, okay, there is no doubt on that. Ultimately, it is light, Sun and Jupiter and Mars. This is what Jyotish is because Sun and Mars represent Agni, the light. Okay, right, Jupiter represents the abstract things of this world, that's why it rules the Akash Tattva. Yeah. Okay. So that means in Srimad Bhagavatam there is a sloka, you know, Harava Bhaktasya Kuto Mahat Guna, Mano Rathe Na Asati Dhavato Bahi. And before that it is said, Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhaktir Akinchana, Sarvair Gunais Tatra Samasati Sura. It means that one who is elevated in his, his or her spiritual uh, realization, Vasudeva towards Lord Vishnu or Krishna or Ram, Sarvair Gunais, Sarva means all. Guna is hmm. all the gunas. Tatra sama means apke andar sama jati hai. Tatra sama sate sura. Sura means the, the demigods, devatas. Yeah. Humility, compassion, you know, truthfulness, tolerance, patience, you know, the ability to uh, accept people for who, who they are. Yes. All yeah. the 26 qualities, which are divine qualities, which are mentioned in the Gita. 
ओके कृष्णा से समो दमस तपस सोचम शांति आर्जव मे वच ज्ञानम विज्ञान आस्तिक्यम ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभाव दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ ब्राह्मीन अ ब्राह्मीन इज नॉट हु इज हैविंग अ टैग नेम ऑफ गोस्वामी और भरद्वाज और समथिंग ऑफ समो दमस तपस सोचम ये सोचम इज क्लीनलीनेस समो दमस तपस तपस्य हाउ कैन डू तपस्य सो इसेंशियली लॉन्ग स्टोरी कट शॉर्ट व्हेन ऑल द डिवाइन क्वालिटी नाउ ऑफ कोर्स वी कैन नॉट हैव ऑल द डिवाइन क्वालिटीज इन फुल ओके बट दैट श्लोक इन श्रीमद भागवतम सेज दैट वासुदेव भक्ति सर्वे गुण तत्र इट मीन दैट टू द डिग्री वी आर एलिवेटेड टू दैट डिग्री ऑल द गुड क्वालिटीज विल मैनिफेस्ट इन अस ओके द क्वेश्चन इज वाई एंड देन द श्लोका से हराव भक्त कुतो महदुण एंड दो आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दैट अभक्त कुतो महदुण वॉट गुड क्वालिटीज डू दैव एंड देन इट सेज मनोरथे ना सती धावत बही इट मीन्स Manoratha, chariot of the mind. Oh, today I like this. Today I like BJP. Tomorrow I like Congress. Tomorrow I like Aam Aadmi Party. Tomorrow I like somebody else. Today yeah. I am staying in India. That is why my Bharat Mahabharat. Yeah. Tomorrow, if I accept citizenship of Germany or Britain or anywhere, then okay, India was a great country. Okay, but now it's the Great Britain. You see, Britain is <laughs> great. The thing is that. when uh, we want to set a good example for others then see if nobody nobody actually gets attracted to our knowledge actually frankly speaking everybody gets attracted to the vibration which we emit yes very important yeah so if our vibration is not very good okay then what will happen is we can charm people by our eloquence you know we can quote 10 shlokas 20 shlokas 30 shlokas we can quote sutras we can give mantras but at a personal level that person cannot connect with you and this is the biggest problem in the world of astrology today the moment i know i i have i have gone to wedding sometimes you know where uh, there is an astrologer and the astrologer is always you know on the limelight you know, everybody is like wanting to get an appointment yeah uh, then what happens and he thinks you know i am the boss here you know ah dekho sab hamare paas aa rahe everybody is coming to me you know it's like a like a leaf yeah the scriptures say you know it's like the moths go into the fire you know yeah he himself has a that fire you know agni kund where all the moths are entering so then what he does is he will see a person from far Ah, your shani is going on, na? I know, I know. You are losing money, I know. He behaves as if you know he's some avatar of Vishnu. You know, everything is all <laughs> omniscient or somebody like that. Okay, so that is very detrimental for attracting people to Jyotish. And if you cannot attract anybody, then you cannot help that person because that person will remain an agnostic. Okay, yeah, or beautifully said, not believer or whatever. so i will repeat what i said the first thing was we have to know vedanta along with vedanta okay mm-hmm. if we don't know that then if we without this if we do the second suppose we are attracting people then what will happen we'll give some predictions and they will disappear yeah so no no use of your attracting okay and now the second thing is how to attract people is by setting a good example by being a good human being okay by being considerate towards others by being compassionate because right. unless people see because he uh, when when we talk of the ninth house these qualities has to manifest in that person and that is a proof of spiritual elevation yeah. because when you are elevating spiritually your desire materialistic unwanted materialistic sinful desires will go down okay yeah. because you are finding happiness in god and spiritual stuff so matter doesn't charm you anymore right then what will happen you will have more tolerance yes yeah. suppose you are going on a train and you know you are thinking of god or ram or krishna or somebody and then suppose a person rushes and you know he hits you like this you will feel okay anyways i will get down after two stops because you are absorbed your mind is somewhere right because you you are where your mind is <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you are absorbed in something, and then you are like, okay, this person is hitting me. Let him hit. What is the big deal? But suppose you are not, 
and you are thinking, oh, tomorrow is my office, you know, like today is Sunday and tomorrow is Monday. And Monday morning you are going to the office and somebody hits you like this. You'll be like, oh, in Hindi, you know, ek to Monday hai, upar se ye dhakka de hai. Okay? Then double, yeah. double a- anger, you know, their, their yeah. tolerance goes away. You cannot tolerate others. As my guru used to say, you know, love at first sight, divorce at first fight these days. <laughs> Oh, I have seen you. I love you, but oh, you don't like me. Oh, you said like this. Bye, bye. You know that these days, आजकल बहुत होता है. You know that I know people where they are coming very nice, and suddenly they will block each other in WhatsApp, Facebook. They will block. Earlier, yeah, the tolerance. Yeah, to- the tolerance has gone very down. Yeah, earlier what used to happen? Even if you you did not like somebody, you can't do anything, right? Mm-hmm. Just that you don't talk to that person in meetings or gatherings. But no, nowadays you can do super. Mm-hmm. You can block that person in WhatsApp. <laughs> get a sense of happiness. Ah, uska block kya maine? Mere ko bola tha na, chhoda nahi usko maine. But uh, what kind of uh, stupidity that is? You know, blocking people in Facebook or WhatsApp. But anyways, the point is that we have to be good human beings and know Vedanta along with Vedanta. Then. we can benefit because there's a saying you know that charity begins at home mm-hmm. so if you don't know vedanta along with vedanga then you are itself we are we are ourselves are you know sinking in the ocean mm-hmm. so first the first principle is we have to save ourselves we have to protect ourselves okay and then only we can try and think about helping others because i mm-hmm. see so many people they say you know i want to help others i want to help him 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 har 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 but have you helped yourself <laughs> because yeah. if we don't help ourselves then we cannot help others and unless we know vedanta properly vedanta means the end of the scriptures yes for so for example primarily books like bhagavad gita and mm-hmm. shrimad bhagavatam unless we know them because what is astrology it is the story of the soul right yeah which is the book which introduces the soul which book it is the gita krishna says to arjun ki my dear arjun you are lamenting that Ar- uh, drona and bhishma will die but they will never die because they are souls right nahanyate man nahanya mane sharire you know that they, they, i mean nayanam chindanti shastrani nayanam dahati pavaka you cannot cut the soul you cannot burn the soul you can't do anything yeah and if you say they are bodies well then krishna showed arjuna the virat roop you know the universal form of god in that he said look i have already killed all these people <laughs> mm. yes but now i am giving you a opportunity to take credit okay many times people say that oh krishna was god he could have taken sudarshan chakra and finished the entire kuru army in one shot right he could have done it yeah but why did he uh, elongate it for 18 days exactly. Because he wanted to give credit to his great devotees like Arjuna and Bhim, you know, who has done so much, and Yudhishthira Maharaj especially. So that's the point that when we know these two scriptures like Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam, then and we set a good example. Only then we can help ourselves and help others. Otherwise, there is no chance. That is the okay. answer to the first question. Okay. And I think um, actually I can listen to you all day long on this topic. <laughs> and um, um, and I have also seen and what I have learned. I'll just uh, give you my insights just for a few seconds. My teacher always says that don't use like you can use it for the uh, prediction as well. Yes, you can. Everybody does. We all do. But use it as a self-corrective tool so that you can correct your present so that you can have a good future. why to know things what going to happen after 5 years 10 years this year what you have already mentioned beautifully use it use it more as a self corrective tool and also he always says jyotish whenever we call jyotish people connect directly to the prediction part yes as soon as you say jyotish okay prediction but jyotish exactly means jyot ish the frequency to connect to the higher realm yes but nobody talks about that definition of jyotish they always say jyotish okay tell me uh, baba ji ji what going to happen in J- july so yes, that, is, that is happening because the first reason is nobody is aware of there that there yes. is at least yes. there is something beyond yeah 
Yeah. If that awareness is only not there, then it, I mean nobody will even bother that there can be a question also like this. You know, there also there's something beyond also which we should ask. Wow, that's surprising that we never knew about it. You see, so yeah. yes, that that is very true. Very very true. You said. <laughs> So let's come to the second question, um, uh, which uh, on which you have already made a beautiful video. Can we change Baba Ji Ji? Can we change our destiny uh, with our deeds, with our karmas, or with the remedies which we do? Can we change our fate? Can we do that? Okay, so I uh, will stop the recording now, and uh, the later video will upload. Okay, so see you again.